and welcome to Flight Test. I'm David and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the neat experience. It was neat indeed. Uh, uh, kind of uh, neat, yeah. Kind of, there's up moments and down moments. Yes. But there's uh, a lot more up moments than that. Yeah, so we got a different RV this time. Oh my one goodness. which actually worked. This thing was a castle on wheels. The, the, so awesome. the people at Neff Brothers RV, neffbrosrv.com were incredible. I called them up and I was like, I know it's last minute, but we need to rent an RV. Our normal place doesn't rent RVs. All Pro doesn't rent RVs Yeah, anymore. they stopped doing that after we returned yeah. ours because nothing worked on it. Yeah, the following guy that rented it actually <laughs> took it to California and the engine blew up and they had to tow it home. So, but anyway, we, we called Neff Brothers and they're like, oh yeah, we got an RV for you. It's a Class A. For any of you that don't know, Class A, it's not like a pickup truck with a, a thing on top of it. This is like a land yacht. Yeah, it was oh. awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> it was so much. Nicer. I showed the pictures of it. Oh, they, they did a great job. They actually discounted for us to make it economical enough to bring this down. Guys, if you ever want to get an RV and you can drive to Lorraine, Ohio, go to Neff Brothers RV. Their selection is incredible. Yeah, thank you very much for yeah. doing that for us. Can't that tell you awesome. how awesome it was. We actually did podcasts, interviews in it. Yeah, it was quite, it was pretty it was crazy. So nice. Okay, moving so, on. So, yeah, we drove out and it took nine and a half hours to get there. Yeah. It's like you drive into this valley and it's just, there's trees everywhere. It's the Catskill Mountains. We we pulled in, um, Dan from Laser Toys, Dan Greathouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they saved us a spot, which was awesome. Right next to the Hobby King guys. We were too. literally, you know what? We were six inches. When we put yeah. our little pop-out thingy, <laughs> We could have like tapped their window. Yeah, it was window to window. It was really funny. We did hang out at the Laser Toys booth. They sold all our yeah. swappable kits. We, I built one of each model to bring, bring yes. it with us. The week before, we uh, basically you were just doing nothing but building planes. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. It we was fun. Pretty, pretty I was pretty on fortunate. That. The ones I had already had built, so I didn't have to build them. So we set up on a huge table, all the models and everything. We had yeah. the boxes underneath. So we started putting them there and from the get go just people oh just poured in so we're just and we, talking and talking and this is where the high point comes yeah it you guys was watching awesome. we love you every time we get the opportunity to to meet one of the viewers um they just touch your heart um you guys are amazingly talented uh, amazingly generous with your time your heart and the fact that you take time to share that with us is yeah. just priceless to us. It was awesome. They brought planes with them, a few of them, and <laughs> made a sign. We got to defile their planes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but some of them were just absolutely gorgeous. The Spitfire was painted up really nice. I had a canopy on it. It was absolutely yeah. gorgeous. And the gentleman airbrushed a baby blender, and he did a longer wing conversion with this rolling flag. Yeah. And it looks like something that should have been on a motorcycle tank, honestly. It was, it was beautiful. It was really, really yeah. cool. So a shout out to Finn Arcady. Tristan and Tom Kirbishly. Kirbishly. Yes. Bradley Rigdon. Rigdon. Yep. Rigdon. Rigdon. Yeah, you were really nice. 3D printing was awesome. It was awesome. Is that the gentleman with the Segway too? Yeah. You oh, oh, you tried that. I got the Segway smile. I yeah. think he even posted on the Facebook yeah, page. Did. Oh, that thing was cool. <laughs> it was and neat. also Alex P. Key from Brooklyn. Uh, they have a flying club down there. And oh, what great people. Uh, yeah. Their heart for growing the hobby. It's just awesome. Uh, Eric Johnson, Lewis. Yeah, Lu Lewis Russi. Lewis Russi. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Lots of questions. Thank you very much. Yes. And Greg Stysky. Yeah. Yes, Stysky. And there were many, many more. I was trying to write down on my phone, and you were too. Yeah. There's many different themes because you know our brains leak. Um, but my God, you guys, if we didn't mention you, just know you did impact us. We love you to death. And uh, we we were talking. Our greatest experience going to these events is meeting the people. Yes. And we can say thank you a thousand times over on camera, but we want to shake your hands and say thank you. So for you guys to make the time to come out and see us and give us the opportunity to thank you in person means the world to us too. Yes, it does. It was it was super nice, yeah. and thank you for stopping by. I got to meet two of my biggest heroes. Actually, one two. one and a dad, and then the third one sadly had an ear infection. Um, ben and Sam, <laughs> yeah. who do the, uh, the flight test remake, I guess you can say. Yeah. Ben and Sam are Josh and Josh in this, and they do their own airplane reviews. And it's pretty awesome. Oh, they are this, this so most adorable kid. Yeah. Well, the dad, here's what touched me. The dad and uh, Ben, Sam sadly had an earache. They got in their car when they found out we were going to meet. They drove into the night. They slept in their car. The dad made breakfast in the car for his son, and then they pushed on to meet. And just to meet us. Just to get the opportunity to meet us. To see the love between the father and son just truly touched me. Um, the, that father truly wants to make memories with his son. And it moved me to the point, we actually gave him the original little uh, Dusty. Dusty. Yeah, we did. It was, they, they deserved it. So Ben, this is the original Dusty from the build video with the FT Duster video. 
I want you and Sam to have that, okay, buddy? <laughs> yes, that that was definitely the the story that that impacted me the most down there. It was, yeah, that was great. And we also met. Um, I met a really great guy uh, that I met before. His yeah. name is Willie. He's from Canada. You know a lot of Canadians. Yeah, I do. Apparently, they like me. <laughs> and his wife. Yeah, they were really nice. We flew FPV together. Yes. We had a really good time. Thank you very much. And um, also. Kevin Te Teschner. <laughs> I gotta get these. Yeah. He funny. knows we have issues with um, cutters because in many, many videos, we're like, we better not touch Chad's side cutters because yeah. we'll kill him. So this is Chad's side cutter, yes. which we're not allowed to use on anything yes. except cutting wires. No. Not Nothing hard. But these ones aren't dented. These are brand new. These are brand new. And that's uh, because, because he gave us one each. Yes. And David, this you is mine. cracked yours open yet. Yep. It's all brand new. Look at this. Thank and you very much. Apparently he knows I'm irresponsible because I got the ones that are... Uh, <laughs> the high power. I, I got the Spartan cutters, you know, <laughs> the ones that you don't necessarily have to be responsible with. So, uh, brother, from the bottom of our heart, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much, Kevin. We it was awesome. We're getting gifts from you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, um, and also we met another really cool, um, actually a younger gentleman named Mickey McCarthy. Oh, such a great, humble guy. He's been flying RC for only two, two years. years. Yes. Apparently, we inspired him to get in the hobby. To get in the hobby. And he got and, in his hobby on his own. And he is surpassed us by far. So then I started looking on YouTube for videos, and I found flight tests, and uh, it really gave me the guts and you know, kind of the sense of you know, someone's behind me, someone's here to help me if I have problems. <laughs> and uh, I, you know, finally bought a plane and parked on Corsair. And uh, you know, I crashed and everything. But these guys, uh, with their reviews and their how tos and everything, really, they helped me through. And friends, there's a reason why we're he's on this side and he has his transmitter ready to go. He's flying a demo today. Yeah. So in two years, you went from never flying an airplane to flying a demo. Yeah. That's awesome, brother. Good That's job on that. He flew in the meantime demo. He flew at a 3D hobby shop, yes. uh, AJ Slick something, yes. I think, and he rocked it. He did so good. I was so proud of him. And he came up and then stuff. We're talking to him and it's like, so you gonna fly? He goes, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do a noontime demo. And we're, we're like, what? what? <laughs> it was, I was He wow. didn't release that part till the very end. And he was actually talking to us and he had to hurry from talking to us to get to the noontime demo. So, so it wasn't we like, followed him. Yeah, we so like, talked all the way. It's we like, followed him. What? Oh my gosh. Uh, Mike, I hope I get the honor of seeing you again. And uh, Manhattan is where he lived, in a small apartment with his family. Yeah, it was he, crazy. His plane barely fit in his room. If you put wing to wing, that was almost scraping his walls. Yes. And so imagine this kid having to go through Manhattan with something that big to learn. So the fact that he got to where he is already, it's living crazy. in a busy city like that, I don't know how he did it. Also, Eric Royer, the editor of Fly RC Magazine. Yes. We finally got to meet him face to face. It, it was awesome. And Josh screwed up. He didn't. I was like, Eric, hi, where are you from, Eric? He's I'm like, like I'm, I'm Eric Royer. And it just like, it's like, I felt like this big because this gentleman has truly given us one of the greatest opportunities we've ever had. And that was to take our video content and put it on paper. Yeah. And that was priceless. And, and we got to spend time with him and his son, Daniel. Yeah. Daniel yeah. was such a nice kid. Such a great kid. Yeah. Oh my Thank goodness. you very much for yeah. coming out. And, and also, once again, saying there's a podcast interview we did with him just talking about, you know, meeting video and paper. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah. Together. And it was so cool. Um, Eric, God bless you. We love you. Well, let's, let's talk about the airport itself. Yeah. It, so it's a full scale runway, right? Yeah. Well, I, I think as much as you can make it a full scale. Runway. Yeah. It's, it's net. It's like, it is a valley. So the trees just go like a V yes. uh, kind of a narrow obl oblong. It's field. definitely more full scale friendly because full scales don't fly a pattern over the runway like we do. Yeah. Full scales come in and it was plenty long. As a matter of fact, there's a beautiful carbon Z super cup. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. And it took off. That's I followed it with feet. the tricopter. I thought it was just taxing no, to put it somewhere and, uh, he, and he turned around and I'm like, He's taking off like beeline straight for a full throttle, land and like, and I took off my goggles and he's just pouring on the coals. He took off. It didn't look like the wheels were turning before he got yeah. off. It looked like the equivalent of one of our foamies with like just obnoxious power. It, yeah, and he climbed a forty-five degree angle and he wasn't full throttle. Yeah. And it just ah, and he got off, the turn. He does a, the the owner of this cub is like at least 80 years old <laughs> and he does two loops Not tight one. loops in a row i'm like wow yeah. that's pretty impressive it was it was pretty and honestly it flew so agile and light it looked like a huge model airplane yeah it, did. it was that was known. that was really cool we were, yeah. sorry we were geeking out a bit so this field is pretty narrow and there's six flight stations i think um or, six um, flight stations in the main area and then down further there's a small there's like three fields totally uh water 
and then really, really small micros, and then the, the normal one. And, and normal is like... Helicopter as well. And then helicopter. Yeah. So four areas, six stations in each. And um, we were talking about narrow field. There's a very narrow sense of humor on that field too. <laughs> yeah, we got yelled at every single time we flew. We weren't even trying and either. No, we. I genuinely did not try to do anything wrong. It was just... Wow. So hard to follow those rules. There was a laundry list of rules. And, and yeah, it was like when you <laughs> walked up, you're like, you, you're this afraid. Place. It's honestly like you're walking into an area, like, you know, the principal is right there. Yeah, the worst thing is they had people, they had like six people watching the six flight. And they lines. were diligent people. Boy. They were yelling all the time. Not, not like yelling, but screaming. Yeah, would they, be the safer way. Yeah, and Tom was apparently whipping him pretty hard. Yeah, Tom, Tom is actually one of the head gentlemen, the, the head of the officials. And they, you can tell the officials because they had these nice blue jackets on that said officials. Yeah. And they were very happy to use that status um, to the yeah. uh, discretion, unfortunately, of a lot of pilots. Yeah, for instance, they, uh, we were flying and next to us, a uh, gentleman the and his two... Two adorable two, kids. Yeah, one was six years old. And he was so excited and yeah. looking at the planes. He's like, oh, I love this, Dad, yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, and one of the officials comes up. You can't be here. There's yeah. only, you can only have one spot. There's no two one. kids. Yeah, one kid on each side. They're both watching the airplanes. And he actually escorted the youngest one off the field. And the dad's trying to scramble and land his plane as quick as possible. Yeah, you don't want to. This guy's literally pushing this kid off the flight line. I just fumed for like an hour. Yeah. I was... We went back to our trailer and we were just shaking. We were so mad. Yeah. And before that, it was almost humorous because before that, I had a little altercation with the gentleman. We were flying the duster and the racer yep. in formation together. And um, Alex was my cameraman. Yeah. And he was also spotted me. He had a wide angle lens and stuff. And he was spotted me while he was filming. And this guy comes up and he goes, land your plane now. You're going to have to come down. You don't have to spot it. You don't have a spot. You're going to have to come down. And I'm like, okay, okay, land it now. And he would not let go of this. So I landed, and, and also on takeoff, I lost one of my wheels, so it was pretty yeah. funny because I had to do a little one-wheel landing. Yeah, it was awesome. It, it worked out really good. I was <laughs> yeah. of that for the moment. And so he's like, you need to get off the flight line now. Well, I walk over with Dave. I'm like, well, I'll go ahead and stand here with Dave so we can finish a shot because they were filming Dave and they were filming me. Yeah, we're doing a YouTube show. And it's like, yeah. no, it's not safe. Yeah, and I was like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm allowed Sorry. to be here. I'm allowed to film. And he goes, no, you're not. And I was but like, I have a press pass. And he goes, no, you don't. And I was like, I just showed this guy, just to show you here, this is Austin's card here. You can see we have this cute little official badge. And this is normal. Yep. You know, they have this at normal. No, that's fine. Yeah, everyone has on, it. It's on the other good. side, we have this cute little thing called a press, press pass. pass. Yep. Now, this piece of paper in this envelope made you safe. Made us officially safe. Yeah, so it's it funny. It's like, <laughs> you have to get us off this field now. But you're I have a press safe. pass. Okay, oh, you're okay, fine. fine. <laughs> and he backed off. I'm like, wow. Yeah. It was it was more rules, truthfully, and and you know we're harping on this pretty heavy, but yeah, the people made the experience amazing. The officials did not. Yeah, and we'll say that bluntly without apology, um, because yeah. our heart is to get people in the hobby and have them have a great experience, not to deal with knuckleheads with just tons and tons of rules. And we will, you know, we'll always honor the rules. We go out to their yeah, you know, it's like going into their home. We'll honor their rules. Doesn't mean we have to agree with them. Yep. And uh, so we in did. This case, yeah, we did follow the rules. We didn't do anything unsafe. You can be like at knee or at no. null. There was, there's a nice atmosphere on enforcing yeah. the rules. And you're like, oh hey, can you please stop doing that? That is a far more effective way than That's screaming scream. at people because and no, there's there we're was not so lying. it was screaming. I mean, yelling at people. Yes, it was. My blood pressure is going Yeah, high. yeah. But long story short, guys, if you've always gone to a field where this is the environment, please know this is not the case. Yeah. This is not the hobby. That was so sad. I was talking to people, and I'm like, how can you fly like this? And I'm like, oh, is there any other way? Yeah, they thought We're that like, was the norm. The best part about this is moving into the evening, um, they had a, a, what is it, a warbird compact. <laughs> they had, so yeah, the massive people. warbird launch. Yeah. Over 50 people yeah. launched their warbirds at one time. And that's considered safe. That was okay. Apparently. All the rules were because they officially decided that was safe. You have all these people lined up no different than six people flying. And I do agree in an in a airport, you don't want too many people flying at the same time. Yeah. But in this case, all those guys launched themselves. So apparently it's safety for the planes, not for the people. And the... Well, it's just not a warbird launch. It's yeah. combat as well. Yeah. People want to crash in each other, and they were you know, there were planes landing in the crowds, and yeah. one almost hit Alex, for yeah. instance. <laughs> so it's ironic. I think the people were actually even further ahead of the flight line when they did that than the actual pilot stations themselves. When I saw that line, yeah, it was so. crazy. So, uh, and as soon as they landed the last plane, everyone was pushed off because it was unsafe again. 
Yes, it instantly became unsafe. So, yeah. officials, if you, I don't think any of them really watch this. Yeah, but if you're watching if you this, watch it, change your ways. Yeah, yeah. Be nice. Be nice Come to on. people. Give them a hug. Uh, so there was tons of airplanes, beautiful, gorgeous airplanes. They, I hardly saw anyone fly them. It was only in the noontime demos mostly. Yeah. Because no one wanted to fly. Yeah. Kind of a thing. It was. Well, uh, the five minutes there was a ten minute slot for, for fast planes. Yes, and five minutes slot uh, for 3D each hour. So yes. it was uh, a total of six slots. So hardly any 3D flying. So it was kind of awkward. Okay, moving now, on. Digressing though, once again, going back to the people, you made the experience for Yeah, us. it was so much uh, nicer to be behind the flight line than on the flight line. That's a good way to say it, yes. Yeah, so what we did, uh, we walked back, and since we had the blood pressure so high, uh, <laughs> I did what I do best, and it's building. Yeah. And that calms me so nice. Yeah. So, Building is very therapeutic. And you have a secret which... <laughs> it's a happy accident. A big happy accident. Yes. It is a Bursa wing that's 186.6% larger. Point makes it everything. Yes. It's a huge wing. So <laughs> he brought two extra kits. Yeah, yeah. I wanted I wanted to uh, send one to Dan. And we actually made this. Um, I didn't tell Chad and David about this, but the Fox 8 no opportunity that we had was being on Fox 8 News. I just wanted to show what you could do with under 10 bucks. I was like, what's the biggest thing I can make for 10 sheets of foam board? Well, yeah. it took nine, and nine it was a, a twin engine Versa wing. It's absolutely and, and gorgeous. What did you name it? This is the funniest thing. The Kraken. The Kraken. And it's stuck. He, he got people yelling, release the Kraken! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, I shouted right. it once, and it's stuck. It's stuck. And I asked him, I was like, well, it's not the Kraken. And what did you say? It was like... <laughs> it's a big beast that it's impossible to kill. Yes, <laughs> that's it. And uh, that is pretty much a Kraken. And you tried to make him kill it. Yep. We had so much fun. I, I, Sam Swink from High Tech. Yeah, he's uh, crazy, but he's awesome. Super awesome guy. He is amazing pilot. Absolutely amazing. I'm like, here, fly my Spitfires. Try and hit that. Yeah. And he was flying like crazy. And we were towing up a glider <laughs> with this wing. We, we took the Kraken. And, and actually, that's another new release, too, um, that hasn't come out yet. Because we have yeah. competition still to do with yes, it. Yes, so we were trying it, trying it out. We yeah. were... That's the, uh, what are you calling that? The I'm going to call it the Simple Soar. soar. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's yes. my version. I know you're yeah. going to have yours, which is probably going to just pound them to the ground. But. I don't know. So we tow it up with the Kraken. It was pretty awesome. We put lights in it. It looked really beautiful. Yeah. And it was sunset. And took it off. And <laughs> that thing's just... You've got a thermal <laughs> or something with it. No, I, I think it's funny when you uh, oh, yeah. pulled it up. I didn't know. I how... pulled, he pulled it vertical. <laughs> I didn't know I'm like, I was going to no, fly. no, no. I was flying straight forward and he just... I'm like, no, no, no. It <laughs> oh, it's still on. It was great. It looked like a fish on the end of the line, just getting reeled up into the sky. It was so funny. It was. And I released, and I flew around, and yeah. I stayed up for crazy long. I'm like, Sam, five bucks if you hit me. And he was trying so hard to hit me. And, it, and he finally did. He finally did. And the wings <laughs> broke. So I got uh, anhedral, but you I got it down. Polydihedral to anhedral. And you did a great job because that thing did not look like... It looked like a Corsair wing. Which kind of <laughs> yeah. said, oh, that's how I can do a Corsair wing. Yeah, I was fighting it all the time. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Thanks, Sam, for destroying our time with your brother. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, and the Kraken, we put LEDs in it. It was yeah. absolutely gorgeous. We put pink in the front and blue in the back. And that thing was just absolutely perfect. It flew so easy. And, was, and we also put differential thrust on it too. Yeah, so it flew like a normal plane with rudder. You yeah. really want the rudder when you're flying Something around. that big, especially. It's, it's super cool to do flat spins in the dark. It scared the people a lot too because they thought it was crashing. Oh, it's crashing. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. You can't see two motors on it when it's in dark too, which is fun. And then also yeah. we... Uh, Broke out into a little competition. I didn't want to destroy this plane. Now, Dan's was a pink and blue. Mine, I built the, was the very first one. We just kind of shoved we lights shoved in shoved lights in it. Like that was changing. funny. Yeah, we just shoved it in there, and it was all like, eh. It looked like a, a challenged Chinese lantern. But it was also controllable by via the transmitter. So, so I'm like, Sam, hit him. Hit him hard. All of a sudden, all these planes come flying at me. Yeah, are try and fly. And he's like, stop mode. Switches the lights off. And they fly by me. He's like... Where is it? I really did not want to lose this plane. I wanted to continue to fly because the next morning I want to do more glider tugs. So, yeah, yeah you're bad. <laughs> no, it was really, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Even the Hobby King guys yeah. started following you. <laughs> so, so some guy some guy got the idea to, uh, like you said, paint me with a laser. Yeah. And so I couldn't turn it off anymore. And I don't know what kind of laser it is, but it has to be illegal because that sucker was... It was bright. It was a I was green, a like a 300 milliwatt or something. It was bright and it was big. It was perfect. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, there's no fun. getting away from that. And actually, Sam did, I think. Did I get two ricochets? Uh, yeah, Sam actually glanced it two times. It didn't move it. It was yeah. just like... Uh, 
<laughs> you know, like, there's so much wing surface you just can't push that thing like yeah. you can a small plane it's it was okay. it was awesome so we actually didn't end up destroying that which was unexpected yeah we, we came home with it too which is really a nice surprise yeah it's so, pretty cool yeah, i think we'll have to work to crack it into an episode because yeah. i think it deserves oh, one oh, also dan has these little things that call called oh, whirly yeah. gigs they're little helicopter type yeah. things and you shoot them up in the air and they spin and have an led on it and it, it looks really cool yeah. so we took 30 of those and put it on the bottom <laughs> of the of the kraken yeah and uh took it off yeah released them and it was absolutely gorgeous it was, it was honestly everyone just stopped and it's yeah, like it what like, are we experiencing mm -hmm. here it was like yeah, it and looked, it was it looked like, like a perfect trail. Hot, like a waterfall of uh of fire almost because yeah, it's like fireflies you released yeah, just, fireflies and they all just kind of and the best was the last toe and they we got them really close to us and he just just yeah, one after another hit, and it just drew a perfect line right to us. And yeah. the high-tech guys, of course, wanted to try and hit him. So yes, he, came, yeah, he came with this guy's scout. The following day, the funniest thing, the following day, Dan had like 400 of these things. He yeah. sold out of every one in the first two hours. It was yeah. so great. It was pretty good. So a good demo. It was yeah, awesome. Fun. Well, let's talk about some of the planes during the noontime demo. Yeah, it was a really cool Eurofighter. Yes. Foam Eurofighter was absolutely enormous. Huge. And it's this guy's a genius. He put like the drop tanks that yeah. are usually on it. He put uh, folding props on that, so black ones. So you can barely see them when they flew. And yeah. Then he had a sound system in it, which and, made it sound like an And idiot. LEDs around the rear exhaust, which gave it the flame effect too. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And it flew, it flew so slow, he was just puttering around. But he used differential thrust. Yeah, it was pretty clever. He did some really cool stuff. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. High alpha but hovering. Came in the land, and then the next person <laughs> in line his dad? was his dad. <laughs> With a and, sense of humor. <laughs> and he had an inflatable pool toy he made into. We gotta make a, one of those. It's an airplane that he made fly. Have you ever seen those yes. little inflatable pool toys? And they, they have a little water pistol, and a little hose goes into the pool, and you can squirt people. Yeah. Um, it was definitely It was awesome. cool to begin with. He walks out, and he's holding it by the handle that the kids <laughs> hold on to when they're squirting. And he just puts it down, and mm, it flew so good. It did fly. It flew he, so good. He had elevon control and rudder, and it almost reminded me of a weird nutball. Yeah, it was absolutely hilarious. Thank yeah. you very much for doing that. You made it was our awesome. day. Micah's display, his 3D flying was awesome. Absolutely top notch for just flying two years. I bet you with a year or so he's going to be uh, be sponsored by somebody. Yeah. So keep an eye probably. out for Micah, guys. 3D Hobby Shops, he loves your products. Yeah, it was yeah, it was really cool. And, and you know what? We didn't even mention this. The first two days we were there, it was really crummy weather. It wasn't yeah. until um, Friday night, right? No, no, Saturday no, Saturday night. night. Saturday night that it actually got decent, and then Sunday was beautiful. Yeah. Um, but that was one of the neatest things because we were building and, and, and fellowshipping with friends. We love that part about it. Yeah, and since we did hang out with high tech guys, they're like, "Oh, do you want to fly in the noontime demo?" We're like, <laughs> "Wait, that's like an hour from now, right?" It's it like, "Yeah, fact. sure, we're they gonna get some planes ready for you." Yeah, we're like, "Thanks, okay, let's do a podcast interview with the uh, Hobby King in yep. the meantime." Yep. So we did a Hobby King interview. Yep. Then, then we walked out on the flight line, got a plane in our hands, and <laughs> here, fly these. We're like, "Okay." Yeah, so, the best part was, uh, I, what did you fly, the Solaris? Absolutely, the Solaris, yeah, yeah, the glider. And it was absolutely horribly trimmed. <laughs> it wasn't a bad flyer, it was just out of trim. Normally, yeah. you fly these things before. Yeah. I flew so and, good, I liked it. And then Sean Spiker, um, he was uh, gluing something on around the elevator. I was like, what? He's like, oh, well, this crashed earlier, so I'm just putting so it back It again. just had one elevator half <laughs> one working. Elevator on it. <laughs> and it was a tiny little Razor plane. It's called the Razor. And I was scared to death of that because I would have dialed in some decent throws. It was minute. You could yeah. barely see it. And I was like, oh, that's too much. And the funny thing is when I flew, I was like, wow, it is sensitive still. Um, but it, it flew really good. Mine luckily was not trim. It was just, it needed some expos dialed in. But so, what yeah. a great opportunity. Yeah, so Guys funny. from high tech, God bless you. You have a lot of uh, faith in us. <laughs> yeah. Or you're really crazy. Yeah, you are crazy. So <laughs> that, was, that was really cool. My first uh, demo in the US, that was pretty cool. Yeah, you did good. You didn't crash. <laughs> yeah, I didn't crash, but I landed really, really far away. But you did three landings in that landing. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Compressed us three times over. We were originally planning on leaving around noon, actually around the noon head demos, but we were blessed with that opportunity. And also we wanted to do the Dude, podcast. Yeah, we did two more interviews with yep. the high tech crew and the Eric Roy from Fly RC. Yes. Uh, so keep an eye out for that episode coming soon. Yeah. So to sum up, thank you very much to Laser Toys oh. for selling our products and letting us hang out. And they gave us the base camp. 
Yes, they, they gave did. us the place where people could go, and that was. Priceless. And they gave us breakfast and coffee oh, okay. and all that. Thank we, you so much, Angie. It yeah, was awesome. We love you, Angie. So, and we got to meet her husband. Yeah, yeah that was cool. Yeah, we got to tell planes there. We were dancing. Yeah. Remember, we were dancing, and we were like, "Damn, we want to put together the Kraken for you." He was like, "Just but, take anything you want." And we're like, "What about it?" We weren't that bad, but we were close to it. Yeah. Um, Laser Toys, God bless you, and also High Tech. Yeah, High Tech guys, super awesome. If you go to any event, any time, please go by and see both of these yeah. people. Yeah, say say hi from us it's I want to thank everyone who stopped by to talk yeah. to us thank you very much yeah. you made our day yeah. the event would not have been anything without you guys yeah, you made the event and we're honestly we're gonna try to do at least five of these a year that's my goal is five yeah. a year but we're not going back to the neat fair so yeah. go somewhere else yeah neat, neat fair um maybe they can tell us if they change their ways but yeah the officials yeah. get your act together we, yeah. we don't want to go down that road again but um amazing people in this hobby um safety is number one for us we've turned down a lot of opportunities because we do believe in safety yes it's we do, not but... about safety it's just about practicality or common sense yeah that was a good mean face i like that yeah all right guys. okay thank you very much yeah. um go to facebook.com chat it up go to the, the store podcast. there's lots of new products in it all right thank you for buying stuff yeah keep see you going. next time see you next time